it's morning again, and welcome everyone watching my channel. Me and Ruslan decided to build a sort of a moisture separator. We wanted to make it because moisture separator is among one of the most frequently asked questions. People keep asking, why do we have craters? Why is there moisture buildup? That's why we need a moisture separator, right? So we are going to knock it up, build it. And we decided to make it out of a fire extinguisher. I don't know how many liters it is. Here's how it looks like. And its walls are not thick. And that's the good thing about it, because it will have decent heat exchange properties. We had a hard time trying to knock off this upper part, so we cut it out the barbarian way and cleaned it. We will simply weld this plate on. I mean, this will be fairly easy to make. Welding a plate on here and making two holes. And of course the legs. I cut out this plate, which we will attach here. But to start with, we'll drill a hole and weld a nut here, so that later on it could be used as a drain. Today we will use Skipper, an excellent machine. So far we like it. We welded a nut. I have done this on purpose, so that it would be more comfortable to use. Here we will have a hole for drainage. You could make a hole bigger, if needs be, say, 10 in diameter. But this one is enough for drainage. And we keep on welding. We will drill an outlet now, so that gases could be extracted. We will make two holes at once, an inlet and an outlet. Give me the drill bit. So, we made an inlet on one side. You shouldn't make an inlet... Damn it. Inlet and outlet shouldn't be located too close to the top. So we drilled an inlet. Here we drilled an outlet, and the whole unit will stand like this. And then we weld on a top. We have found a tube for one side, but not for the other. So we decided to make a mail connector, which is more handy, it's a quick disconnect one. Many of these are often made of brass. It also has a nice adapter. So yeah, many of these are brass ones. You can't weld a brass one, so you should check. Try to put it on a magnet. If it doesn't stick to the magnet, it means it is ferrous metal. So if it does stick, then you can easily weld it. Welding thoroughly here. You can see we have a hole that way, and we welded it all through. One more thing, a sort of bandage, so that it wouldn't bristle up too much. And no, do not try to cool it right away. Let the metal cool down naturally, then you can cool it. That's about it. Here's the inlet, here's the outlet, coming from the quick disconnect adapter. Drain hole. We missed a little bit here, with the legs. Therefore, we built one more support, the fourth one. In fact, an apparatus like this can be built for, say, half an hour, without strengthening your muscles too much, and it will be better than some other super-duper expensive ones. The whole idea of it is to cool the air inside this thing, not to the extent of total water separation. And you can definitely use your old fire extinguisher, which has been lying around your garage. The walls are thin, 
so the heat exchange will be greater and better. There is nothing inside. Do not paint it inside, the paint will start coming off later. Just wash it more frequently. It will not rust so much this way. That's about it. Nothing super fancy. We have welded everything with this machine. Skipper, I liked it. Smooth running, fine adjustment. Welds perfectly. Well, it depends on the weld rods you use for sure. In the meantime, I'm getting my bumper ready for painting. So far, it's more convenient to do it outside. And in the next video, we will restore a rusted fender. I will show you how to cut out a patch, how to take measurements and weld a patch on. After which, we'll work the patch, weld it and work it again. It's all done in a simple and easy way. Subscribe to my channel. I'd be happy to see every one of you.